In this video, we're going to take a look at how to remove a DOM node from a web page using JavaScript. So typically, uh, if you're using a front end framework like React or Vue or something similar, you'll have conditional rendering, which means that uh, you basically can say like, if some condition, then if you were using JSX, uh, which is what you would typically use for React, then you would have like um, basically show a, a paragraph tag and then it would have like this content in here. Okay, but in some cases you're not using a JavaScript framework and you just want to do um, kind of a pseudo conditional rendering. And so one part of that would be removing an existing DOM node. Okay, so what we'll start out with here is just some basic HTML, and I'll just do this all within an HTML uh, file here. And I'll just use a script tag so we can um, include our JavaScript and then remove the DOM node with that. So first off, we will create a div uh, that will just have my ID here. And this is gonna be some content. Okay, once we have that, um, we can check up on this and make sure it's rendering. Good, it's rendering. And then we will go ahead and add a script in here. And what we can do is um, we can add, let's add a button also. And for this button, we will add an onClick method. And we can say um, remove node. And then within this script, let's add a remove node function. Um, back here, remove node. And then for now, we'll just console log just to make sure this is going to do something. Okay. So we'll have to do something in here. And then we'll save this. And Let's refresh this and we can open up our console and make sure uh, well, we're not seeing this button, right? So we do need to add some text to the button. Okay, once we've added that, then we see our button and once we click it, then it is gonna log that out, okay? So it's doing what we want. It's not quite removing the DOM node yet but now we can add that functionality in. So now that we have this function and we know that it's actually gonna work, what we wanna do is we want to remove this DOM node, but the way that we do that is we do that by calling a function on the parent node, the parent HTML node. So what we'll basically do is, um, actually const should work here. So we'll have const parent, um, and actually let's start with, this is going to be the content. Um, so let's just say this is my div and we'll use get element by ID. And then this is going to be my ID. Let's be consistent here with our quotations. And then we also have the parent, which will be my div dot parent node, parent element might also work, but um, we'll use parent node. And then what we wanna do is we wanna have parent dot remove child, and that's gonna be my div here. Okay, and then we can still keep this console log in here just to make sure. So hopefully it will have removed something. So. Coming through here, we've got, um, we're getting the node that we care about, then we get the parent, and then based on that parent, we're calling remove child, and we're passing in the specific element that we care about here. So you do have to pass in that element, and you're calling uh, this remove child function on the parent element. So we'll save this and jump back to our HTML page and we have our content. Now when we click it, it will remove it, and we see it should have been removed, and it was removed. So that is how you can 
remove a DOM node or remove an HTML element on a web page using JavaScript. And uh, you don't need any fancy frameworks. You don't need any React or Vue or anything else. This is just pure vanilla JavaScript and you're removing a DOM node. So hopefully that helps out. Let me know if you have other ways to do this or other ideas about this or questions about this and I'd be happy to answer any questions and dig more into that. Otherwise, we will see you in the next video.